and let's see how the it's coming in. And let's see how the construction is going. Squeaky brakes. <clears throat> I think they need to change the uh, mayor sign. Although the program was initiated with Mayor Izzo, so. Ugh. Do we really need to have Governor Hochul's name on everything? It's about as bad as Cuomo. I don't know, they're putting an awful lot of work into this. I hope it's worth it. Maybe City Hall can also install a few homeless shelters into the uh, building. <laughs> I mean, has any Rome politician been into like uh, Bellamy Harbor Park at night time? Let me tell you, there's like a dozen homeless people in that park at night. <laughs> And if they're not in the park, they're on the other side of the park where the train station is. I mean, politicians always talk about helping the homeless, but they really don't. One of those two undesirables up to. Last time the gate was open. <clears throat> That's all the construction. Like I said, they're putting a lot of money into it. So I hope it's worth it. And they're taking an awful long time on this project. Of course, they're putting in new piping, new electrical. I don't know. Like I said, I hope it <laughs> shows in the city. Hard hats. These are the new apartments mainly for, uh, to increase Rome's art community. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they're available for rent now. I'm not sure how many people are living there, maybe one or two. Uh, I noticed a couple cars there all through the evening and, but, uh, they're nice, not too sure on the rent, but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of taking a while, and they took an awful long time to build them. They really took a long time building those apartments. Fast looks liquor. Uh, hey. Storm coming in. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms, but I don't know. The air just does not feel right.
They're putting up these new signs all over Rome, like uh, information signs, tell you about Rome, New York. They're all over the Mohawk River Trail. Uh, kind of a bad idea, I got a feeling, because it's only a matter of time before people vandalize them. This is the new parking lot. This is where the parking garage to uh, Fort Stanwix was. But the parking garage has too many regulations to keep it open. So, much easier just to have a parking lot. And they're doing a pretty good job on it. Of course, we're supposed to get like four to five days of rain, so that's probably going to slow it down a little bit, the progress. <laughs> Another thing the city has to start enforcing is the uh, really shitty drivers on the roads. I mean, these idiots have been getting away with murder for like three years now. Uh, senior citizen living, Rome Mall apartments. Heavy machinery. And I don't know why they left some of this stuff standing. I don't know. Maybe it's power or something. Uh, I got no idea, but they should have tore it down. Like this building right here. It must be a power supply of some sort. Generators or something. Uh, they already got the garbage cans there. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I hear it. He's coming for me. Up, he turned. Too late. This is the Rome Elks Lodge. I'm still confused how they can afford such a big building. Let's go away. This is the Episcopal Church. Episcopalians. This is the Rome Elks Lodge. The old city hall. This is the Elks Lodge. It's a good sized building. Clouds are getting worse. They must get a lot of donations or they must have a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 
people within their organization because that's a big building. This is the Episcopal Church. I don't know why, but I like this church. I just like the design of it. Used to be a dentist office, now it's not. This is for sale. I have no idea why I'm going this way. Now I know. This is uh, St. Mary's Church. Quite a building, I always like it. <laughs> 